Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox and Kerbal Space Program 1.12 where I have improvements to the rocket sled and track and I intend to test them. First of all, I've lengthened the track so that we have room for the rocket sled to slow down. Previously, we had parachutes on the rocket sled and it would just go off the ramp and parachute down. That is safer and easier, but not ideal. I mean, I, I would prefer it if it stayed on the ramp and then sort of slid back down and then was ready to go again for the next thing, uh, rather than perishing, parachuting down off the side. In order to do that, though, we need forward SRBs, which we have here, though I accidentally put the wrong amount of P-band in here. Uh, so I've got the formalized versions of the SRBs in the back that we had in the previous video about the rocket sled. Uh, so I used the same numbers from the procedural SRBs. I just made them nicer. And then I copied basically two of them for the front. I accidentally left the original amount of fuel, so we have to tweak it down. And really it doesn't require much of the remaining fuel. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully it'll slow us down, but the bigger problem is getting the payload off of it, of course. Uh, with the version that drops off the end, that automatically fell away from the payload because of gravity. Uh, in this case, though, it is not going to be able to do that. It is going to stay on the ramp, and the payload is going to have to pull away from it up. And that is tricky, especially because, first of all, we have to make sure that the SRBs aren't firing. Because if they're still firing, they're going to run right up against this because the thrust weight ratio of the rocket sled while those are firing, even if these are trying to slow it down, will be higher than the thrust weight ratio of the Orion carrier plane. <laughs> because, of course, these SRBs in the back are designed to push this whole thing, right? Uh, the sled themselves and the payload. And their thrust weight ratio is very high when the payload is released. So yeah, the timing is critical. Then there's the whole fuel unsettled business with the Rex engines. And of course, once we decouple, we have to make sure that the Ford SRBs fire and keep the thing on the track. So that's a whole lot of stuff. First, we're going to release the docking system so that the sled is free. Then I'm actually going to activate the engines, the Rex engines, so that we can see when the fuel is unsettled. And I'll just throttle up once they seem ready to go after we hit the curve. Uh, I tried to smooth out the bumpy bits and somehow I've made it bumpier. <laughs> um, so that didn't work out very well. It seems, it seems bumpier. Uh, so... We'll, we'll see how that is. But anyway, so we're going to check out when the Rex engines are in the green, or they're not really going to be in green, not in red. And then uh, the rocket sled activates. We activate the engines, but not throttle up. And then the rocket sled activates. And then we've got the forward SRBs, the decoupling, and some separatrons on the Orion carry plane itself just to help. So. Let me bring it outside. We're at the Tampico sled spawn and see what happens. So I'll preset Smart ASS, but uh, Smart ASS likes to wiggle a lot. And so I actually have to pull up hard myself. It's actually, well, see, it, it was pulling up for a bit there and then suddenly it pitches down. I'm going like, no, you don't need to pitch down ever. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to be pulling up hard like this in order to make sure that doesn't happen. But first let me re release. The docking port always likes to explode. And it's sort of rolled to one side a little bit. Alright. Well, here we go. Activating the engines. And then the boosters. Bump there. Uh oh, not a good time. Okay, we have to wait just a little bit longer. Uh 
Oh uh, well, it's it's flying now. Well, it's gonna be interesting. I've done some testing already, of course. I mean, I already fixed some collider issues and stuff like that. I think it'd be good if we reduce this fuel just a little bit. There was there was just an estimate for how much fuel we would need. Let's say ninety percent of that would be good. Okay, go. Okay, up, 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 up. Ooh. It's really tight. You can see. That is a struggle. Now, did it. I think it slid back. Look! It's sliding back. Oh, it hit the back, though. But I think it slid back properly. I mean, in theory, it'll just stay there, so why don't I just bring this to orbit and then we'll turn back to it and see what shape it's in. Maybe it just took out the docking port in the back or something. Oh, we lost one of the body flaps. Gosh darn it. Yeah, that can happen. Gonna have to figure out how to make things a little bit safer down there. Didn't lose any of the engines though, at least. Okay, and cut it off. Okay, and fairings. Okay, payloads in orbit successfully. Uh, let's go to the tracking station and see about the sled. I brought the payload to orbit so that we could switch without reverting. So, here we are. So, Landed at Tampico Sled Spawn. I think that's the one. Let's see. Will it all go into pieces when I turn to it though? Oop. Physics easing in progress. It's taking extra long time for that. <laughs> um, it's still paused. Uh, it's really giving me some suspense here. I don't think it can believe it either. Oh, okay. Well, physics easing did not ease the whole thing. I should really set it a little bit lower, but uh, it's here. It's here. It's out of P-Ban. Uh, well, no, I actually had some residuals, it looks like. It worked. <laughs> It worked. I don't know if it's safe or how... I mean, I I have to time it exactly the same way that I just did. Otherwise, it will, it's just disaster. So, alright, let's recover this and see if I can do it again. Smart ASS should be set. Release. That should just be the docking port. It will save us an explosion later. All right, activating the engines and then activating the SRVs. Okay, we're off. We lost both of the body flaps though. <laughs> uh, it's sliding back. It's sliding back. Oh, it got knocked off. It got knocked off. Gosh. Uh, it's better if the docking port stays in the back there so that there's sort of a crumple zone. Uh, all I really need to do maybe is cut down how much SRB fuel there is in the Ford SRBs. So, fine. Let me try that. If there's less Ford, uh, less SRB fuel in the Ford SRBs, then when it slides back, it shouldn't slide back with that much force so that it gets knocked off or gets hurt. It really shouldn't get knocked off anyway. It's because the physics isn't so good when we're that far away from it. So these guys, let me just cut it to half fuel. 
I mean, I bet it might not be, well, that just means it has less duration, so it wouldn't be going as fast when it slides back, so I think it'll be all right. I mean, it's still providing the same thrust when it comes to slowing it down. I don't know if they can even make an SRB like that. The SRB thrust is for each SRB is the same as one of the five segment boosters, uh, and they are the same diameter. They're just not the same length. Uh, that's not exactly how that works. <laughs> so uh, probably they'd have to make them fatter. The SRB experts will have to tell me whether you can do it like this, or maybe they'd have to have just more SRBs. That's fine too. But liquid fuel would be better, but I can't deal with the whole fuel getting unsettled randomly thing. Um, pressure fed, pressure fed engines might be a thing in this case. I guess that's possible. I'll have to think about that. But I've got this solution right now. Let's just try and make it work out. Okay, just trying to see that the sled doesn't hurt itself. Oh, well this time the docking port didn't blow up, I think. So maybe that'll help. Probably still lost the body flaps though. I think it's all right back there. Oh no, it's still here. <laughs> what am I seeing back there? That, that, that it's a little bit darker there than normal. But okay, no, it's sliding back at a very gradual pace now. But it stayed on the track. I don't think it's gonna slide all the way back even. Well. Uh, I guess we'll take that, but I've got to do something about losing the body flaps. <laughs> so, maybe I'll just make their braking tolerance really high, but no, that that's not good. I don't know if I need these separation motors or not, or whether the gimbling from the Rex engines are good enough. But, I've got those right now. Anyway, as this climbs, that's the state of affairs with the rocket sled in this version of it without the parachutes and file falling off the end of it. Uh, tell me whether you think falling off the end is the better way or whether keeping it on the track is the better way. Falling off the end is safer and doesn't kill our body flaps every time. So there is that. Anyway, with that, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.